A 2 by 2 real matrix A has a determinant of 2018. Let A to the negative second power be A inverse squared. Prove that trace of A inverse squared minus trace of A to the negative second power is constant for all possible choices of A and find its value. And here's a nice note. The trace of a square matrix B or trace of B is defined to be the sum of the elements on the main diagonal. So if our matrix B is 1, 2, 3, 4, trace of B is simply going to be 1 plus 4, also known as 5. And I'm going to answer this question in three different ways. The first method using eigenvalues and the eigenvalues relationship with trace and determinant. And the second method is going to use some direct calculation with A inverse. And the final method is going to use Cayley Hamilton theorem. And even though the last method is going to be the longest, I think it's pretty educational and it can be applied to many more problems of a similar flavor, the questions that ask you about trace and determinant. So I will show you how Kaylee Hamilton can help you as well. Anyway, before I go on, I want to recognize Gabriel N and Kenny Yip. Gabriel N for being the very first person to correctly answer this question and Kenny Yip for coming up with a very clever argument using eigenvalues of A. And in fact, the first solution I'm going to present to you is going to be a modification of Kenny Ip's explanation. A huge shout out to both of them. So let's get started. So let's start the method using eigenvalues and let's say a 2x2 two two matrix B so it has the entries A, B, C, D, and let's say B has complex eigenvalues lambda 1 and lambda 2. It can be shown with some linear algebra that lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is a trace of B, and lambda 1 times lambda 2 is determinant of B. In fact, we can actually take time and prove it right now because we are going to have to derive it when we apply Cayley Hamilton theorem anyway. So let's prove this for 2x2 two two case before we go on. And to do so, we are going to consider the characteristic equation of B, determinant of B minus lambda i, which is of course in this case A minus lambda B, C, D minus lambda. Of course, you're taking the determinant. And when you take the determinant, you're going to get A minus lambda times D minus lambda, which is lambda squared minus lambda times A plus D, plus AD, and because you're taking determinant, we gotta take away BC, and we see that A plus D is a trace of B, A plus D is the trace, and AD minus BC is of course the determinant of B. So we have a trace and determinant sitting right there, and we know the eigenvalues are the root of this characteristic equation. So when this characteristic equation is zero, we have the solutions lambda 1 and lambda 2. And from Vieta's formulas, we know the sum of the roots or lambda 1 plus lambda 2 has to be a plus d, negative of the coefficient of lambda, and the product of the roots has to be the constant or a d minus b c or determinant of b. And in fact, you can extend this argument to prove it for any n by n matrix, but we have proven it for 2 by 2 here. And let's go on. Because we are manipulating the expressions with A inverse, we are going to let our matrix B be A inverse. And to begin with, what is determinant of B? Well, we know that determinant of A is 2018. That's telling us that determinant of A inverse is 1 over 2018. So we know lambda 1 times lambda 2 is 1 over 2018. And there is one more thing we have to know, and it is that if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are eigenvalues of B, then lambda 1 squared and lambda 2 squared are going to be eigenvalues of B squared. Now the only thing you may be worried about is what happens if lambda 1 squared is equal to lambda 2 squared. Is it possible to get another eigenvalue 
lambda 3 such that lambda 3 is not equal to lambda 1 squared or lambda 2 squared and the answer is no and you can prove that using linear algebra that any eigenvalues of b squared has to come from squaring one of lambda 1 or lambda 2 and of course when we are doing trace and determinant we are taking multiplicity into account so it's more than fine if lambda 1 and lambda 2 were the same to begin with we are just going to add them twice so there's no problems letting lambda 1 squared and lambda 2 squared be eigenvalues of b squared so we know trace of b squared is going to be lambda 1 squared plus lambda 2 squared and we wish to find the trace of b squared minus trace of b squared the first one we are squaring the trace so when we square trace of b we are going to get lambda 1 plus lambda 2 squared and we are taking away trace of b squared which is lambda 1 squared minus lambda 2 squared and when we calculate this we are going to get 2 times lambda 1 times lambda 2 which is of course a determinant of b or 1 over 2018 so we get the answer 1 over 1009 right away let's move on to the second method using direct calculation so in this case we are looking at a inverse which is a b c d and we are going to manually calculate the entries of a to the negative second power so what do we get when we square this well we are finding the trace so we only care about the entries in the top left and the bottom right where the entry in the top left is going to be in some sense the dot product of a b and a c which is a squared plus bc and the entry on the bottom right is going to be i say dot product but you're really multiplying the row and column using matrix multiplication so when you multiply the second row and the second column we get bc plus d squared so that's telling us that trace of a to the negative second power is a squared plus d squared plus 2bc and the trace of b or trace of a inverse is a plus d now the values that we care about is trace of a inverse squared minus trace of a to the negative second power so if we square this and take this away we are going to get I cleared some space right there and when we square trace of a inverse we get a squared plus d squared plus 2ad and we are taking away trace of a to the negative second power so minus a squared minus d squared minus 2bc these obviously cancel out we are left with 2 times ad minus bc which we see is the determinant of a inverse which we know is 1 over 2018 so in this case we get 1 over 1009 as well and you may say why well, isn't direct calculation much faster than the method using eigenvalues well if you already know that the sum of the eigenvalues and the product of eigenvalues have this intimate relationship with trace and determinant then really you can do the method using eigenvalues in your head arguably you can do the same thing with direct calculation but i say if you're a master of linear algebra eigenvalues is actually faster anyway let's get to the final method using cayley hamilton theorem and to apply cayley hamilton theorem we are going to look at the characteristic equation of a inverse or b and the Cayley Hamilton theorem states that B is actually a zero of this characteristic equation. That is, if you plug B into lambda, so if we replace lambda by B, we get B squared minus B times A plus D, and we know A plus D is trace of B, so let me write it as trace of B, plus that's the determinant of B, and to make it a matrix, we are going to multiply by the identity. Cayley Hamilton theorem states that this thing is also equal to zero, in this case, zero matrix. And we are going to take trace of both sides, so trace of zero and the trace of this entire thing. And I'm going to use the property that trace is a linear operator, meaning that trace of A plus B is trace of A plus trace of B and the trace of some scalar times matrix A is C times a trace of A both of these can be easily proven trace of zero matrix is of course trivially zero trace of B squared I'm going to leave the same and when we take trace of B times a trace of B 
Remember that trace of b is a constant, so you can take that out. So we are going to get trace of b when we take this out times the trace of b, which is simply trace of b squared plus when we take trace of this thing, determinant of b is a constant, take that out. We get determinant of b times a trace of i, and the trace of i is going to be 2, 1 plus 1. So trace of i is 2, so that we have a plus 2 times the determinant of b. And we know determinant of b is determinant of a inverse, or 1 over 2018. So we know this is 2 over 2018, or 1 over 1009. And rearranging this equation gets us trace of b squared, minus trace of b squared is 1 over 1009 as we expected once again. So we are done. We know the answer to this question, to this linear algebra question, is 1 over 1009.